Eric, Palo Alto, you all are right in the catbird seat here. You're right in the middle of all this. Give us the state of the state of what you're seeing out there in regards to the implementation of this architecture across the sector. Sure, look, we've been we've been involved with Zero Trust since the beginnings of 2010 timeframe, delivering capabilities to customers to help them out from a zero, with their Zero Trust architectures. I think the first thing we need to get down is when we're talking to customers, what are they looking at from an architecture perspective? How are they thinking about Zero Trust? We still see customers coming to us asking for our Zero Trust product, and it doesn't work that way. We still see customers turning Zero Trust into a verb and saying they want to Zero Trust something. So it's really about driving to what are the outcomes you're looking to gain? What are you trying to get? And, and there is no one fit all solution. We're the largest security company in the world, and we can't meet all of your requirements. The DOD has 152 activities they look at. 20 of them are policy, procedure, services. You know, the remaining 132, even as the largest company doing cybersecurity in the world, we need 118. So this is a whole of world problem. We need to sit down with our customers. We need to work with them and we need to help them out. We're doing that in, in the Zero Trust network access areas. We're doing it at the endpoint. We're doing it through SOC automation, but it really comes down to what are you trying to accomplish and where do you want to start and where would you like to end up? But this is a journey. This is not something where you can just set your Zero Trust outcome and achieve it overnight. 